Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Today, we're drafting. I know. Actually, this video will probably come out before the Bia Pro, so I will mention it here as well. The beard, yeah, brought it back a little bit, but don't worry. I just like to hit the reset button every now and again. Let's go ahead and randomize the team here, and I will be drafting on behalf of the... Detroit Red Wings. Now, I know this draft might sound easy, but a lot of the top players just skip going to the AHL. They just go straight to the NHL. So if you think of like Ovechkin, Crosby, McDavid, Panarin, they never played in the AHL. Tell you that for free. Maybe there's some that did, but guess we'll find out in this video. I'm gonna go ahead, start career, and we are gonna get pick number 21. 21. Let's see. Ooh, I was kind of close. I guess I could be using this instead of Hockey DB, but apparently Carlson actually played 12 games in the AHL. I had no idea. Let's go ahead and see here. So yeah, San Jose, Ottawa, AHL. There you go. Charlie McAvoy played four games in the AHL. Still counts. This is a really weird first pick for me, but I'm going to draft Rupe Hints. I don't know why exactly, but I'm going to send it. Rupe Hints has a bit of a special place in my heart because of fantasy hockey. I think I drafted him like two years ago and he did way better than anyone thought he would. So that was nice. But I think I'm going to go with Charlie Mack to be our next pick because I was going to take him first. But I didn't really want to take a defenseman in the first round. So now that we're in the second round, I would say it's fair game. Let's go, Charlie. Troy Terry has definitely played some AHL games. 87 overall, making 1.4. Wow, we can take some big contracts later on. Let's do that. Thomas Shabbat, AHL legend, 13 games. Could be a great pairing on defense. What about Timo Meyer? Did he ever play in the AHL? He did. Huh. What do I do? They're both 25. He's making a lot less, but having Shabbat on that first defensive pair would easily give it at least a plus three. Let's go with Shabbat. No way. Even the GOAT himself, Marc-Andre Fleury, played five games in the AHL. How about that? Vitek Vanacek probably played a ton of games for the Hershey Bears, so I will be selecting him. 85 overall is our starting goalie. I'm kind of down. He does have the abilities, you know. And we don't really have to worry about cap space right now. Let's have a look here. Did Zuccarello play in the AHL? He sure did. 37 whole... Oh, never mind. He also played a lot here. Okay. Matt, so I think everybody on our first line and our first defensive pair has abilities. Chemistry should be nice. Matt Dumba played some AHL games, 85 overall for the second defensive pair. Don't mind if I do. Gustav Forsling. Yeah, why not? We'll really stack up our defense. And now I really do have to start drafting some forwards though. Evander Kane never played in the AHL, really? Huh. Oh, never mind, he did. <laughs> five games it must have been like a conditioning stint or something May oh he did i think that's when his wrist got stepped on or something or was that this year either way it showed that he played in the ahl so our second line left winger is going to be evander kane andrew cop with a solid eight ahl games under his belt centerman prime for that second line i'll tell you that jeberly will be joining the team as our second line right winger it's gonna be a sniper Playing with Cop and Kane. I feel like that second line's even going to be nasty. I have really high expectations for this squadron already. Wenberg, I could stack up in the middle. Have a very good center core. So they got 76 face-offs though. 4.5 million. It's kind of a lot. Olofsson, maybe. Oh no, I don't know what to do now. Olofsson's probably a sniper. He is. Okay, AHL. Boom. Let's go with Vicky. Our backup goalie is going to be really solid because we are drafting Laurent Brossois. So we have an 85 overall goalie, an 82 overall goalie. Abilities galore on our first just starting lineup, I guess I could say. Well, no, not starting lineup. Starting... What would that be? Maybe it is starting lineup? No, that doesn't sound right. Just starting roster? No, because that's not right either. Starting lineup sounds more correct than starting roster. I give up. Scott Mayfield making his return six foot five. What a menu. And his physicality is up there, which I'm a big fan of. So let's get it done. Get that contract signed. Did Phil Kessel ever play in the AHL? He did. Two whole games. I have to sign Phil. It's got to be done. I know Mason Marchment was on the Marlies for a while there. It's got pretty good stats. Could be a third line left winger. A really good one at that. 
Oh, no, never mind. We already have a left winger. Unless one of them center. Hmm. Well, I'm drafting him anyway. We are in need of the services of a left-handed defender. Actually, what player type is Mayfield? If he's a defensive defenseman, okay. So I do not want to get a defensive defenseman either. Two-way defender, Brett Kulak. You've definitely played in the AHL. Come on now. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Defense are complete. And now we simply need three forwards. How could I possibly say no to Lars Eller? At one million. Normally he's making like three or something. <laughs> so, you know, that discount, it matters. I mean, there are some other options, but no, I'm gonna go with Leller. Fire the boys up. Marcus Foligno. Yes, he has played in the AHL. Boom. 82 overall, a left winger, but again, it doesn't really matter position-wise. We'll just figure it out. As long as you play forward, then you check the box. I think I'm going to go with Mr. 90 Faceoffs, a returning veteran to these drafts at this point. I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Not much, though. Our draft is done. And you know what? I have a lot of faith in this roster. So naturally, we are going to suck and get absolutely destroyed. Just the way she goes. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I took Rupe Hintz as our first pick. Still believe though. Show me the money. Here we go. It is edit lines time. Uh, no. Okay, so they only get a plus two. And they only get a plus two. What's this all about? So I really don't like that dash one on the third line, but I really like that plus two on the fourth line. I don't know what to do here. Like I could do something like this and then it's zero plus one. But do I want to do that is the question. And the answer is obviously no. However, I don't really want two snipers to be playing with each other. Especially with Felino in the middle as a grinder. So you know what? I think that plus two, as nice as it would be, it's just not in the cards. There you go. I'll take the zero zero. Actually, if we put Glenn Denning in the middle here, we get a plus one. And I move Phil down. So it's going to be Olofsson playing with Eller and Mason Marchman. And then we've got Kane, Kopp, Everly, Terry Hintz, and Zuccarello. Um... I'm not sure where my faith in this team came from. I also feel like I just said faith. Made up a new word. As you do. Cop, I'm sorry, but you're getting demoted for the plus one. I'm happy with the offense at this point. And let's check out the defense. Okay, so plus two. I don't think there's really anything I can do here. Plus, I'm keeping these two together regardless. That's not changing. And there's nothing I can really do there. So yeah, I'm fine with the 200. And if we go to goalies, we got Vanacek and Laurent. So... Now I don't know about this team. I'm going to say that Troy Terry gets the most points with 71. And you know what? Yeah, we make the playoffs. I don't know how we do it, but we do it. We're going to have 43 wins. I'll see you then. And now that predictions are out of the way, let's go ahead and simulate up to the trade deadline. Come on, wings. Here we go. That's not a great start. Okay, we just went on a four-game winning streak, I believe, which is huge. Losing a couple games here. But hopefully we can bring it right back with some W's. Yup. Okay. This is a rocky start. Well, we were doing well for a minute there. And we collapsed. However, it's still not too far gone. We could bring it back. Oh my word, we just suck. 33 points in 43 games is our best. Okay, I'm gonna just do best lines. We'll try that on for size. See what happens. Boom. Bada boom. Let's do it. And we have yet to win a single game since doing best lines. Never mind. Took down the Canadians. So I think it's safe to say we're not making the playoffs. Very unfortunate. Okay, or we can just go win 200 games in a row. That works too. An L to the Rangers. Is that going to be the start of something? It sure is. Okay, we have 25 wins. And honestly, there's not really anybody available that I want to grab. So I think we're just going to keep running with the team we have. Hope for the best. Marco Scandella decline. I'm not sure what it was that made me think this team was going to be good as we were drafting them, but oh boy, was I wrong. Can we at least go 500? Is that too much to ask for? Oh yeah, there it is. Got my hopes up with all those wins. And then they just proceed to lose every single game for the rest of the season. What a miserable simulation. Wow. All right. Well, you know what? We were due for a couple of these because we had a lot of fantasy drafts that were going really well for a while there. So I think that, you know, it finally caught up to us. We're having a couple stinkers here, but we'll be back on a heater eventually. The Tampa Bay Lightning are your Stanley Cup champions. The Henderson Silver Knights take home the Calder. Well, let's go look at some stats. President's Trophy goes to the Avalanche and they had Crosby with Kreider and Marchessault. Pretty good first line. Varlamov and Nett. 
Bergeron, Eichel, and Lee. What a strange second line. I'll allow it, though. Valerie Nichushkin on the third line. That's just rude. Then they had Chikrin with Petrie, Mansi McDonough, Foot Shen. Yeah, okay. You know what? They do have a good team. Top 16 teams made it, and Tampa just snuck in. They were the 16th place team. We finished last in the division. Where did we finish in the league? Ooh, 29. Zuccarello was a dash 22 and had 63 points. Yeah, that first line was just not good. Zuccarello's more of a second liner. So, really, our team was not that good. Hints had 61 points. We got 57 from Kane, 55 from Terry. Overall, it just didn't happen. 45 out of Charlie. Expect a little bit more out of you two there, Chief. In net, Vanacek had a 908 and then an 898 from Brossois. What are we doing? Semyon had himself a year, a 918 save percentage, 42 W's in 68 games. Is that any good? Spoiler alert, yeah, it is good. Oh, of course, look who led defenseman, EK65 with 68 points. Dalene and Hughes both had 67. Hedman right up there as well. Another one of those seasons where nobody broke 100. We got 54 goals from Cooch though, holy. 95 points from McDusty, 96 from Dreisaitl. I'll look through the awards quick, I guess, even though we definitely did not win anything. Show me the Detroit logo. No, not gonna see it. In the playoffs, Georgiev had 16 wins, obviously, because that's what it takes to win the Stanley Cup. He had a 904 save percentage. Swayman had a 926. And he played 21 games. That is outrageous. Costa Spare led defenseman. Holy... What a mad lad. 21 games played, 16 points. Uyghur had 12 in 25 games. Let's check out four words. We have Connor McDusty leading the charge, 30 points in 25 games. Kuznetsov and Kane up there as well. All right, so I kind of just came up with this idea on the spot. Clearly it wasn't a winner. I mean, it could be. To be honest, if we had a higher draft pick, maybe could have found somebody that played in the AHL. I almost guarantee it. That's what's cool about these drafts. Like you guys go try it because you'll get a totally different result than me. It's always cool to see people commenting saying that they tried the draft challenge as well and what their results were. So yeah, if you guys want to give it a shot, I am encouraging you to go ahead, try it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you could subscribe, that would be fire and I will see you soon.